So we're into match play now at the U.S. Amateur, which means we have 64 players left. Uh, we've got eyes on the co-medalist Cole Hammer, who um, was six under in stroke play. He's a guy who's really on fire this year. He's won three times already, including two weeks ago at the Western Amateur. So Cole plays an interesting game because he likes to shape shots. He has a good feel for shaping shots. He's kind of an athletic player growing up playing a lot of baseball. So we're going to be watching him playing Alvaro Ortiz later in the afternoon. Yeah, for sure. That win was that win was really big for me, um, for my confidence going forward, and kind of proved to myself that I have what it takes to to play in, in tournaments like these and, and compete with the best. So that was huge. I found it hard to believe that you hadn't made match play at USAM in something like nine years. Was that monkey on your back? Yeah, no, it's been a decade. My first USAM was in 2008, and I've been fortunate enough to play in the USAM nine years. So um, no, it, it I, I I can't say it enough, but it really felt like. A weight, a physical weight, had been lifted off of me, and um, you know it just it means the world, obviously, to, to kind of get to the next step, and obviously to you know to play well today, and move on to tomorrow too. This morning, when the 24-man playoff came down to 17 and 18, so stay tuned, keep an eye on that match play bracket, and we're hoping for some excitement this afternoon. Like I said, Harry's a great player. Um, I'm just very fortunate that uh, you know, we had a kind of a knockdown, drag him out type of match, and I was able to come out on top. Big thing was I just played kind of smart golf. I kept the ball below the hole whenever I needed to. Gave myself a lot of good birdie opportunities. Um, kind of just battled back and forth all throughout the front nine, um, and then whenever the back nine hit, I just.